Tristan Thompson did show up to True's first birthday party this weekend, and judging by Chloe's face, she was super uncomfortable. Probably because we've learned they barely talked up until that day. Plus, we need to talk about a little Car Jenner Coachella drama, like the fact Jordan Woods awkwardly ran into Kendall Jenner and known Car Jenner pal Haley Bieber. And she was in the same place as her ex bestie Kylie for the first time since their friendship blew up. While Jordan reportedly prepared for a run in with her, Kylie looked pretty distracted, showing some PDA with Travis Scott as they were headed to the place where their relationship began. Get those cups ready, people, because because the tea is hot. How's it going guys? I'm Madison Hill. We have a lot of car dinner news to discuss, but first make sure to click that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. That way you're always the first to know what's going down. Okay, although I know you guys are here to get caught up on all the drama that went down at True's first birthday party, let's first talk about what went down at Coachella in the car Jenner world. First up with Kylie. As you all know, Coachella holds a special place in Kylie and Travis's relationship. It's the place where they connected oh so many moons ago, realized they wanted to be together, and then boom, along came Stormy and this relationship they have now that some of us, mainly myself, ship so much. Therefore, it was no surprise that the two went to the famous music festival again this year. However, what we didn't expect was the PDA they showed us on Instagram. Kylie posted this photo of her and Travis kissing on the steps of their private jet, casual. And therefore, if we had any doubts that these two have not mended things after those awful cheating rumors, I think this pretty much shut them all down. Stormy's parents are doing just fine, and clearly they've never been happier, thank goodness. However, someone else who was once close to Stormy, Jordan Woods, didn't quite have the same easy breezy Coachella experience. First up, a source told Hollywood Life that Jordan went into the weekend preparing herself to run into Kylie, considering it was the first time the two have been in the same place since the news broke about Jordan and Tristan Thompson. The source said, quote, Jordan feels terrible about what happened. However, she's really trying to be a mature adult and put her best foot forward with everything. The source maintained that if Jordan ran into Kylie or any of her other family members, Jordan planned to be the bigger person and keep her head held high. Now to me, that sounds like a pretty foolproof plan. Now while Jordan did not run into Kylie, that did not stop her from having a run in with Kylie's sister, Kendall, and Hailey Bieber, who let's be honest, has never been shy about the fact she's friends with the Car Jenners. So here's what went down. Kendall, Haley, and Jordan all attended the same Bootsy Bellows pool party this weekend. Another party goer reported to Hollywood Life that Jordan arrived first with her longtime pal Jaden Smith and his girlfriend. They were there about 20 minutes when Kendall and Haley then got there. Apparently, Jordan and Jaden's cabana at the party was right next to Kendall and Haley's, and Jordan, quote, felt noticeably uncomfortable. The source reports that at no point did either party try and speak to one another. And at one point, Jaden got up to make laps around the party. Shortly after he left, clearly the tension became too much for Jordan to handle by herself because the source reported, quote, it was obvious that Jordan felt uncomfortable and left within five minutes of the girls arriving. Yikes, can you imagine? Because I can't. Honestly, in this instance, I feel bad for Jordan because there is nothing worse than seeing people you don't want to see and then your wing person leaves you. Meanwhile, based on Justin Bieber's Instagram post, I don't think the awkward interaction put any sort of damper on Kendall and Haley's weekend. Okay, now let's move on to the Chloe and Tristan drama because I know you're all here for it. Although we had heard that Tristan was having mixed feels about attending True's first birthday, remember one day we heard he wasn't going to show, then the next we heard he had changed his mind. Well, the guy must have gotten a large dose of gumption sometime this weekend because he surprised us all and decided to show up to True's first birthday after all of that, and of course he made sure to post about his appearance on Instagram. While Tristan was all smiles, Chloe, on the other hand, looked visibly uncomfortable with him being there. I mean, just look at her face when he tried to hold true. Yeah. We knew Chloe was nervous about Tristan and her family being in the same vicinity, so her face kind of makes sense. But we also just learned that the awkward tension was also caused by the fact the two barely spoke leading up to the party. A source told Hollywood Life, quote, Chloe tries to include Tristan as much as possible, but it's uncomfortable for her given the fact that the communication is extremely minimal. She's reportedly interested to see how much Tristan will take initiative to be involved in True's life now that basketball season is over. And honestly, although I despise the guy, 
I'm happy he was there to celebrate his daughter because at the end of the day, that is the right thing. Which by the way, True's unicorn themed birthday looked just over the top enough with cute desserts, literal unicorns, and tons of photo ops with her mom. Okay you guys, that is it. Time for you to tell me your thoughts on the Car Jenner Coachella drama. What was your reaction that Jordan had an uncomfortable run-in with Kendall and Haley? Also, are you surprised Tristan showed up to True's first birthday? Let me know in the comments below. For more on the Car Jenners, check out our story on Courtney's most savage moments. And for more celeb news, subscribe to Holly Scoop now.